it is all about millet. Research editing and production. Safaro Sonic Kumar. Camera Ravi Teja. RDT High School for Inclusive Education. Produced at Podcast Studio RDT HSIE. Free to copy. From time immemorial, man and beasts consumed and cultivated various kinds of millet geographically grown. Millets were cultivated in Asia and Africa more than 4,000 years ago, and they were the major grains in Europe during the Middle Ages. Millets were used mainly for pasture or to produce hay for cattle and horses in the United States and Western Europe, but they remain important food staples in developing countries worldwide. Before modern farming and irrigation were founded, tribal farmers took a keen interest in millet crops, and most of their cuisine evolved with millet. In India, there is a new movement to revive the tribal farming of millet under the Doubling Farmers' Income Program proposed by a commission led by Mr. Ashok Dalwai. The report has hundreds of recommendations. Millets is a crop that can be grown with minimal rainfall. The visionary of the Indian government, who is keen on promoting indigenous produce and to bring back our age-old healthy food habits and having a reverse walk to the rich mindful past, the government of India declared the year 2023 as the International Year of Millet and gave a big space for the small grain in the food chain. We are living in a time when the two extremes of malnourishment and obesity plague large portions of the world. Now, India has taken a major step to educate the masses about these small seeded grasses that are highly beneficial to human health. The year 2023, we celebrated the International Year of Millet and bought an all-new insight on having millet as the primary food that brings the balance of diet. Millet and grain cereals, despite being rich sources of protein and antioxidants with high nutritional value, have never been considered fashionable foods. However, India has done remarkably well when it has come to meeting the caloric needs and demands of her peel. My district and Antipuramu of Andhra Pradesh and we are the one district which has regular drafts and scarcity of water at many times. In the Rayalaseema region where my district is located, the important crops sown are rice, cotton, groundnut, pigeon pea, sunflower, black gram, sorghum, and bananas. Rice is the principal food crop cultivated throughout the state, providing food for its growing population, fodder to the cattle, and employment to the rural masses. In Andhra Pradesh, paddy is the major crop cultivated in more than 22 lakh hectares during Karif and Rabi seasons. With the promotion of millet and the industry demands in domestic, national, and international farmers in Anathapuramo are switching over to more and more millet production. New processing factories for millets are also started in the district and neighboring Satya Sai district. Attractive packaging selection and careful mixing of the millet based on popular traditional recipes, millet brands are now competing in the market with excellent response from the consumers. The Anantapur-produced millet brands have most modern automated processing and packaging plants, and it is the support of the project the International Year of Millet 2023. Most of these brands has come out with major Anantapuramu millet varieties such as sorghum, johar, and ragi millets. Now let us look at the millet production in India this year. Andhra Pradesh is closely followed by Gujarat which 2,310 kilograms of millet per every hectare. 
When it comes to Jawa productivity, Andhra Pradesh was much ahead of other states with 3,166 kg per hectare. Madhya Pradesh is 1941 kg, her hectare took the distant second place. The area under millet cultivation is largely concentrated in Rajasthan which has 35.5% of its total cultivation. Maharashtra is 20%, Karnataka is 13.3%, and Uttar Pradesh is 8.8%. However, the production of millets across states is not commensurate with the area under production. The scenario in terms of productivity presents an altogether different picture. Andhra Pradesh having the highest productivity in the country is one such example of this trend. Despite contributing to little area of cultivation compared to Rajasthan, where the millets were sown on about 43 lakh hectares in 2022. With the renewed awareness of millet with the celebration of the International Year of Millets and moving lifestyles to healthy traditional food habits due to the scaling lifestyle diseases, millets are going to be again in the center stage India's food chain. Now let me take you through the kinds of millet. Sorghum millet Sorghum is widely cultivated around the world and is a versatile grain. You can make anything with sorghum, from porridge to beer. Sorghum flour is often used to make a variety of baked goods, such as breads, muffins, and pancakes. Pearl millet In India, this millet is mainly consumed during the hot winter months. Pearl millet flour is usually used to make flatbreads and porridge. And in winter, we use whole pearl millet to make kichdi. Finger millet. Millet porridge is a popular breakfast drink. Usually, this millet is consumed as flour or by sprouting or by cutting directly. And we cook bread, buns, laddu, and soups from finger millet flour. Proso millet. It is usually light yellow in color and is good for making porridge. Polenta and pilaf. Depending on how the rice is cooked, it will swell and make a great pilaf or salad, and rice and quinoa can easily be replaced. Little millet. This millet is ideal if you want to replace rice with millet. In a recipe, barnyard millet. These are like small grains and can be used as a substitute for rice in any recipe. Barnyard is ideal for making porridge, pilaf, salads, and polenta. Foxtail millet. The small, round yellow pellets. That sprout and cook can be used as a substitute for rice in any recipe. It is grown extensively in India and China. Kodo millet. This rice is mainly grown in Nepal, India, and other Asian countries. Kodo millet has a nutty texture and is slightly chewy. Compared to other small millets, so this millet is preferred for making idli and dosa. Brown top millet. Anda karalo, also known as karali, is found mainly in southern India. These brown millets are similar in size and shape to millets but are brown in color. The millet that are popular in my district of Anantapuramo and around of Andhra Pradesh are as sorghum, johar, and ragi millets. Nutritional facts of millet is the major information one must know. Millets are high in nutrition and dietary fiber. They serve as good source of protein, micronutrients, and phytochemicals. The millets contain 7 to 12 percent protein, 2 to 5 percent fat, 65 to 75 percent carbohydrates, and 15 to 20 percent dietary fiber. The essential amino acid profile of the millet protein is better than various cereals such as maize.
Abdelan. Research Editing and Production Safaro Sonic Kumar Camera Ravi Teja RDT High School for Inclusive Education Created for LAAMS Learning and Assessment Accessible Management System Thanks to APSC 